Brown Solo asks, how's it going? Do you know the reason behind USB-C related things not working without an OTG adapter? Yes, Brown Solo. Um, so the difference between, and by the way, USB nerds, I apologize that I will get some of these details wrong because I'm not like super, super knowledgeable about all the ins and outs of USB. But a difference between USB-A and USB-C is that USB-C explicitly supports a, a bunch of different things, like different voltages. You can charge USB-C. The standard for USB-A was like five volts, two amps, something like that. Uh, but USB-C can do five volts, nine volts, 12 volts, 20 volts, even more. I think you can, you can push like a hundred and maybe as much, oh, definitely 100 watts. I think there's a new standard for USB-C that pushes uh, even more, maybe as much as 160 watts. I'm not sure. USB-C can do, uh, can do uh, HDMI output. USB-C can do all kinds of things. And what that means is that unlike USB-A, where basically anything you plug in, like as long as it can handle five volts, eh, you're good to go, right? With USB-C, if I plug something in and the and the port goes, y'all, you want nine volts, huh? Here's nine volts, and then it fries. So what USB-C, it won't work unless the device at the other end tells it, hey, here's what I am and here's what I can do. And the flight controllers that we have often do not do that. They're just like, oh, I don't know, I'm USB. What do you want from me? And so the computer, and by the way, many computers don't care. Many computers are just like, whatever, here's five volts. Because your computer is not a fast charger. Your computer's not gonna output nine volts. It's just gonna output five volts. And so many computers, the USB-C ports just go, ah, here's, here's five volts, what, do what you gotta do. But the computers, I'm gonna guess maybe you have a MacBook. I know that MacBooks have this problem, not exclusively MacBooks, but. Um, they they'll they'll be like ah and they won't work with many flight controllers. So the takeaway here is if you get a USB OTG adapter, you get a USB hub with USB A ports or you get if your if your laptop has A A ports, you get an A to C cord that'll all make it work. There you go. Um so and then some flight controllers will just work. They do, a few flight controllers have the correct circuitry to a self-identify and they'll work. Yeah, and my, it's why, my understanding of it. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, my understanding of it, it's like a literally a two penny resistor. It's that you a have resistor. to add on a certain line and then the resistor denotes directionality. Mm -hmm. And then once you get directionality, then the OTG is supported like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it would be super easy for the flight controller designers to do this correctly and they don't, probably out of laziness more than anything else. But it's why you get situations where some people say, you can't use a USB-C C to C cable with flight controllers, you can't do it. And other people are like, what are you talking about? I do it, it works fine. It's it's a kind of a mixed bag. But I always have, um, so all of the computers that I own have a USB-A port, and I always default to using an A to C cable. I, I often use a USB-C to C cable if I'm sure that this my computer doesn't have that problem, and, it, and sometimes it doesn't. But I always have a, an OTG or an A to C uh, to help me out.